For more than a thousand years, Istanbul was the Western world's largest and most important city. From the year 330, when it became capital of the Eastern Roman Empire, until the decline of the Ottoman Empire in the 17th century. Once again, Istanbul is the largest city in Europe and presents such an exotic array of attractions and rich history that it should be on everyone's list of places to visit. It was capital of the great Byzantine and Ottoman empires and the treasury for fabulous riches that helped to create one of the world's most magnificent cities. Built on a picturesque hilltop and surrounded by water on three sides, this city was easy to defend from marauding enemies. At the same time, it site on the Bosphorus, a narrow waterway that connects the Black Sea with the Mediterranean, put Istanbul at the crossroads of trade between Asia, Europe, and Africa. Many of the most amazing buildings constructed during the era of its long prosperity are still standing near each other in a square mile section of the old town, amidst the lively, friendly, and chaotic bustle of the busy city. With so many attractions to cover, four nearby sites stand out and should be on your list to visit first. Topkapi Palace, home to the Sultan and 5,000 friends for 400 years. Hagia Sophia, the world's largest church for a thousand years. Blue Mosque, one of Islam's most beautiful and holy shrines. The Grand Bazaar with 4,000 shops along 65 alleys, the largest covered market anywhere. The proximity of these major sites makes them easy to see on foot, with time left over to explore more of the old and newer sides of town, and then to take a cruise on the Bosphorus, filling three days with non-stop action. This is Dennis Callan for World Traveler reporting from Istanbul. We're standing in one of the main shopping streets of Istanbul and they have this convenient little trolley that will take you up and down the street and it goes into a tunnel. It's like a little subway as well. Brings you down to the waterfront. You can see this is a very busy and lively street. There's all kinds of pedestrians and it's non-stop shopping and there's a lot of restaurants as well and bars and nightclubs and along with this main pedestrian mall, there's a lot of little side streets that go off from it. And it's a very friendly place. You feel very safe here. And you can't get lost. You just follow these little trolley tracks. There's no cars allowed on this street except for those with a special permit or a delivery vehicle. So it's just really pleasant for walking. As you find in most European cities, there's a pedestrian zone. And that's where people congregate. Istanbul is sometimes overlooked even feared as a place to go in today's uncertain political climate. Yet this is a peaceful place where Americans are welcome regardless of our government's Middle East policies. As a European ally, Turkey is an important example of a Muslim nation not controlled by religion and wide open to Western values. Along with all of the monuments and past glory, Turkey is most attractive because of the friendliness of its people. One positive aspect of any reluctance to go is that prices and crowds are somewhat reduced as a result, making this an opportune time to visit. The rewards are overwhelming, while risks are similar to the chances of being struck by lightning, so don't be deterred. Turkey is generally less expensive than Western Europe countries for the visitor. Local currency is the Turkish Lira, with an exchange rate of 1.5 million Lira to the dollar, which does not mean that you can live like a millionaire, but the traveler's money can stretch further, especially if you eat local style rather than in fancy hotel restaurants. Bargain hard for anything you buy and walk or ride public transportation. Istanbul has seen a population explosion in the last three decades, tripling to more than 13 million people, making it larger and more crowded than second place Paris, whose 11.3 million people are spread out over twice the area. Istanbul is still growing 
at the staggering rate of a half million new residents each year, most of whom move here from the remote countryside. Fortunately, the visitor does not have to deal much with traffic jams and congested conditions that result, because most attractions are in the historic center and can be easily reached by foot, metro, or short taxi ride.